It's titled Sweet Oranges. 2024 oil on canvas 64 by 102 inches. Well, even during our quick cursory sweep of the installation, I, uh, I can see that uh, Masteron is using a lot of references to uh, classic artworks and this kind of relates to a couple things some Malays or even uh, Bruegel's uh, harvesters okay, I've got about 20 minutes and this is a big show so we're gonna hurry Ulysses dream oil and canvas is 20 by 24 by 20 Well, I see a lot of uh, figurative painting these days. I've even made some comments about uh, zombie figuration. Uh, but I think Nostron is in a little different category. I think this is, uh, well, first of all, it's just straight ahead competent painting. But I think there's some nice, uh, nice color things going on. And uh, as I said, I appreciate the Art historical references. Fleur de Lis. Oil and canvas is 24 by 20. And there's some interesting uh, subtle things kind of hiding in there. I like the, uh, yeah, the paint brushes kind of hanging on the back wall. cup of tea. It's 
And the Astron's got a very nice light touch. I like the, uh, I've got the mast form of the wall and then that's played off against this Persian rug. Night with fireflies. Twenty-four by twenty. I made a comment to Kate when I got home the other night that uh, it was the first fireflies I'd seen for the season last week, and uh, well, that's kind of poignant. As I said, I'm kind of getting some some vibes of various art historical things. Some of them make me think of uh, Toulouse-Lautrec, maybe, or even Degas. Except this is uh, much hotter colors, yeah, almost fluorescent. That'll warm up your heart. Okay. Throw a little Edvard Munch. That's a nice touch, the kind of uh, flaming bar singer. painting within the painting. Kind of like the uh, the formalism with this uh, white blue circle kind of at the pinnacle of a compositional triangle there. Save the last dance for me. See, I kind of like this piece because uh, Nastaron has uh, broken up the palette a little more, so it's not tilted toward, totally towards the the red or the hot or the blue and the cold. Okay, there are a lot of interesting, odd, mysterious narrative possibilities here. This is titled Whispering Roses. And it kind of makes me think of the uh, some of the Degas works with the ballerinas training, putting on their toe shoes, wrapping their ankles. Well, I was commenting about the color things and I realized, gee, the show is titled Wild Roses. 
and this one is whispering roses, so maybe that's why there's a lot of rosy colors. The meal. Okay, well, we'll take a close look at this passage. I like the uh, layering of the thin sheets of glaze. Pizza. I got a shank of pork there. This type of ballroom, 29 by 36. Okay, again, we've got a kind of a background of very softly washed in. Vermilion played off against some nice rich blues and greens. I guess it would be interesting to find out what time period Nastron is trying to portray here. Conquest of the Garden. 30 by 5 by 46. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of look at this and it makes me think of the kind of scenes you might come across if you were living in Paris amongst the Bohemians in uh, 1906, about the time that uh, Picasso and Barack and Modigliani and all those folks were having a fun time. Blue Lobster. I'll read a little bit from the press release. It's like we're talking about a wine here <laughs> with notes of Manet, Degas, Renoir, Matisse, or Toulouse Lautrec, Shabazi conjures a half remembered tune of the 19th century styles with modern and personal motives. Food and drinks will be served. Many paintings have people dejeuning in herbe or stacking up the empty wine glasses in a dark cafe. In Nowhere Land, a woman dances with a fish while two embrace. Musicians play accordions and violins while a figure sculpts. In the Red Room, a bevy of Degas ballerinas in what looks like a karaoke bar. A blurred scene of chandeliers and dancing couples in Blue Lobster is perhaps a window or giant mirror, a composition that shares the Parisian richness and perspectival ambiguity of Monet's A Bar at the Folies Brugere. The title of the exhibition refers to Van Gogh's Wild Roses painting, while the words of Iranian poet Farouk Farah Kahazad seep into the subject matter of the paintings and their mood. Nowhere Land, 79 by 71. So we're talking about six and a half by six feet. 
Okay, I think this is one of the pieces where we're getting into more of the fantasy um, scenes, almost dreamlike images. Sitting on the side of the pool. And here we've got our artist palette, which ref refers to the person making the work. Okay, I wonder what that means. It's like a heart and they're squeezing out something. Is that coins? Okay, we got a dancer holding a fish. Okay, this is one of the more, if I dare say it, conventional compositions, but uh, Nostron is a little lot more of the uh, painting technique come through. She's got the, she's got the drips, the poured, the scraped. And it's a straight landscape. We even got our dog portrait in there. We'll wind up our little tour looking at this. Dejeuner sur herbs. Okay, well that's borrowing the title from one of the most foundational paintings of modernism. Famous Monet. So we've got a, looks like a birthday cake with candles. A young figure with the uh, garlands in her hair. Somebody pouring drinks. Maybe that's a uh, birthday celebration. James Calm reporting on Nostaran. Shabazi, wild roses here at the hole. Thanks for watching. You can like this, share, link it up to all your social media sites. You can subscribe, you can talk about it. And you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, reviews, and suggestions below. And we just ask you one thing to say. Thank you, Kate. Whoa! Think loud. Oh, thank you. Hey, everybody. Good evening to you all.